Our strength is really how to transform hearts and minds of people effectively for peace. You know, how to calm down the mind, how to transform negative emotions, how to let go of violent tendencies, and actually how to reach the human heart. You know, if we look at international peace building today, it's mostly focused on governance, our economy, development, security, justice, human rights, and so on. Thinking that if we all, if we have all these systems and structures in place, somehow this is the re recipe for sustainable peace. The international community has not been very successful. The international development community has been providing basic services and building basic institutions, but that doesn't seem to be sufficient to build trust and cohesion in these societies that are ethnically so torn. And perhaps this global initiative can start to build peace, trust and cohesion at the level of the individual, at the level of the community, at the level of the nation state in these countries that can rebuild these ties. بس محتاجين هذه الممارسات حتى نعيد الامن والاستقرار الى داخلنا قبل احنا ندعي الامن والاستقرار للمجتمع اذا انا الامن والاستقرار مو بداخلي شلون اامن الاستقرار للعائله وللمجتمع so traditional peace building efforts focus mostly on external conditions and factors like systems and structures now what we want to do is bringing the human being back to the center of peace building efforts and actually focus on the inner lives of human beings as a crucial locus for decision making and behavior. So what we do is actually laying the foundation for sustainable peace. It's like creating the soil in which the peace efforts of other individuals and organizations can actually take root. Because you know everybody wants peace. Peace is an innate need of people. But they don't know how to get rid of the negative emotions, negative tendencies, anger, and frustration. That education is needed in the world today, you know, to teach people how to let go of the negativity, let go of the past and move to the future. If we see today there's a lot of anger, greed, frustration, fanatism, intolerance in the world. Now, if we fail to address these driving forces, we will never be able to create a sustainable peace. So we think it's really the need of the hour to start investing massively in the inner lives of human beings as well. It might seem a very you know, enormous task and maybe difficult to do, but this is exactly where our expertise lies. Our approach is rooted in the human dignity of every person in care for humanity and in universal human values. This very secular, human-centered approach has allowed IAHV to work with all sectors of society, including international institutions, governments, managers and CEOs, religious leaders, refugees, victims of violence, youth, terrorists and rebels, prisoners and children, bridging religious, ethnic, and social divides. IAHV works with all people on all sides of conflict, both victims and perpetrators of violence, from the marginalized in the slums to the hubs of world power. In the truth, it doesn't deal with the religious and religious values, but we find in the religion of Islam a lot of efforts that are related to the relationship and related to the right way to deal with the environment and the reality. I feel comfortable when I see a national relationship with its interests to work for it. الإنسان ومن أجل القيم الإنسانية التي لا تنتهي. With ownership and empowerment at the core of its programs, IAHV fosters self-sustaining change driven by people themselves. In conflict and war zones, masses of people are affected, sometimes millions. And our traditional approaches to healing, to empowerment, are often limited to one-to-one -one interactions. So the strength of our program is that we can actually reach 
large numbers of people and at the same time have a very deeply individual, personal transformation. IAHV's programs focus on changing the inner lives of human beings as a core locus of conflict, violence and peace dynamics. They effectively transform minds, hearts, attitudes and behaviours that enable people to shun violence and contribute to peace. We believe personal transformation is fundamental for sustainable change and the manifestation of social peace. I realize that my colleagues and myself have wasted our life in this useless war. Now we feel we were totally wrong. When we return, we have a lot to do with what we have learned here. IAHV is unique in the world, offering a practical approach that goes to the roots of the problem while spanning a global reach. IAHV is a non-profit, United Nations affiliated organization established in 1997 in Geneva by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and other global and humanitarian leaders. Its mission is to build a sustainable and inclusive peace by promoting and supporting the development of human values in individuals and societies on a global scale. IAHV Peacebuilding was set up in April 2013 to articulate and develop our unique expertise and approach to peacebuilding. According to our understanding, individuals behave violently against others or oneself due to two main factors, ignorance and stress in the broadest sense. Stress in the body, mind or emotions, including anger, fear, hatred, greed, fanaticism, frustration, trauma or depression, negatively influence our perception, interpretation, decision-making and behaviour. We perceive situations in a one-sided way, react instead of act, engage in destructive instead of constructive behaviour, act upon negative emotional impulses instead of reason, and narrow our sense of possibilities. Ignorance prevents us from knowing how to deal constructively with negative emotions, challenging situations and internal or external conflicts. IAHV peacebuilding programs aim to remove both stress and ignorance. By removing and dealing with the causes and manifestations of stress and ignorance at an individual level, human values, which we consider the intrinsic nature of all human beings, start manifesting naturally. Human values such as cooperation, responsibility, friendliness and a sense of belongingness are present in every human being as the infinite potentiality, but they need to be rekindled to thrive and grow. When individuals are more peaceful, they reflect that in their behaviour and positively affect interpersonal relationships and community life. The cumulative results of individual transformation then lead to less violent and more peaceful environments. IAHV offers accessible trauma and stress relief programs for people affected by war, violence and conflict. Research has shown that these programs are effective in rapidly and significantly reducing the symptoms of PTSD, depression and anxiety, and improving the quality of life. They teach participants how to process their emotions and stress through the breath, to shift their attention away from reliving the past towards future possibilities. The programs help people not to react out of anger or turn violent and divisive in the aftermath of war, violence and loss, but instead to channel this dynamic energy to strengthen their resolve against violence and contribute towards the betterment of society. Participants leave the workshop with stress and trauma management techniques, healthy coping strategies, stronger community bonds and a sense of personal power. Maria, the mother.
הקורס נשימות היה מאוד כיף, מאוד נהניתי, עזר לי מאוד, חוויה מאוד גדולה. את האמת, אני לפני שזה התחיל לנו, הייתי קצת יותר, פחד... קצת יותר פחדנית בכלל, ועכשיו אני... זה עוזר להתגבר בדברים. המשפחה שלי רואים בזה גדול. זה מרגיע אותנו, זה מוציא אותנו מכל הטירוף הזה של הקסאמי והזה. לא חושבים על כלום, לא יש שקט של כמה שניות. Here we learn how to overcome our fear and uneasiness. Feel significantly better after this technique. All the negative emotions you had in your soul left you. After the course I feel great and super strong. You love everybody and everything. The children are relieved from stress. They feel themselves more relaxed. They understand each other better, including themselves. These sessions help them to decrease their aggression. هي تقنية جيدة جدا تساعد الإنسان على الاسترخاء وتساعد الإنسان على أن يكون بصحة أفضل وواقع أفضل. The road to peace is quietly being paved in Kashmir, where volunteers organize workshops for families affected by the continuing violence. Some hardened terrorists, after their own transformations, have taken up teaching the program in the strife-torn valley. Earlier my whole body was paining, but now I am physically fit. When we fled to escape from Kashmir, we were so tense and stressed up, but since doing the Art of Living course, there is peace in our mind. I used to have severe headaches. My mind was totally fatigued and stressed due to the circumstances in Kashmir. Before the stage, we were a little isolated. Genre, il me manque de considération. On allait d'abord, on était un peu réticents l'un envers l'autre parce que ce n'était pas facile de regrouper. De nous, qu'on soit ensemble, des jeunes guéris, des jeunes djoulas. Parce que c'est les deux communautés qui sont en ici. Vraiment, je me sens aujourd'hui à l'aise parce que je ne suis plus dérangé par euh, euh, ces troubles, ces stress. En tout cas, euh, actuellement, je sens la joie encore. Je suis libre, euh, je suis libéré. Oui, j'ai la joie au cœur. IAHV aims to build resilient individuals and communities by strengthening the resources and capacities to live in peace, deal with conflict in a non-violent way, and being able to handle challenging situations. At the same time, the programs help people to overcome the negative effects of a breakdown in resilience. When in July 2012, large-scale riots in Assam, northeast India, claimed 58 lives, and rendered 400,000 people homeless. Three villages where IAHV had been carrying out its community development programs saw absolutely no incidents of violence. Considering that the village inhabitants are a mix of Boros, Muslims, Assamese and Bengalis, this was an exceptional display of unity and non-violence against forces of division. IAHV offers programs to facilitate the rehabilitation and reintegration of ex-combatants in society by helping them to reduce and prevent violence, release accumulated stress and transform negative emotions, reconnect to themselves and others, empower them to achieve their goals in a non-violent way and reintegrate in society. What we were doing was wrong. Using violence with people is not at all good. To accept people, win people's hearts with love and be happy within oneself, that is the aim of life. I thought to myself, what I was doing was wrong. Beating and killing people was wrong. Accepting people with love is the right thing, is the only right way. Make people happy and be happy within oneself. That is the right thing to do. I want to educate people with more broader and liberal mindset, you know, change this religious fanaticism in the world. Everyone has to join hands and re-educate or reprogram this culture of violence.
IAHV offers effective workshops that decreases the stress, anxiety and sleeping problems that many returning veterans experience. Research by Stanford scholar Emma Sapala found that post-traumatic stress disorder decreased dramatically in participants of a week-long IAHV workshop and remained lower a year later, suggesting lasting impact. IAHV's interventions are free of known side effects and can be scaled up to serve large numbers of veterans at a lower cost than many traditional interventions. You know, you have to kind of uh, detach from your humanity to do that over there. And you come back and you have a hard time reattaching to normal civilian life. I think the death and the dying that I saw there um, grabbed a hold of me daily. Um, there, we were getting mortared daily. Well, I came back injured, came back blind. Um, really had no support of any family or anything. I felt alone, isolated. I know I lost something, but I'm not really quite sure what it was that I lost. My fiance and I started having some trouble. And, um, I was, I was drinking a lot. I had bad dreams, um, panic attacks, anger, I had a lot of anger. I lived on antidepressants, which I have lived on for the last four years. I've been on every one that's uh, probably been available. I felt lost. I attempted suicide twice. Um, substance abuse. Just anything that would ease the pain. Surreal to have someone come up to you and say something like, why are you happy all the time? You're smiling again. Is, did something change? I am a different person. Um, just, just night and day. You know, you're, you're really, it's like you're you again from three or four or five years ago. My ex said, I really like this new guy. You know, he remind me of a guy that I had met years ago. I don't know, the breathing just opened up something in me where it's just, I just feel better about myself. I'm not taking any medication for anxiety. I'm not taking any sleep aids. I'm not taking any meds. And that is not a giant step, that's a giant leap. About a week before I came on this course, I was in the hospital for five days. Major depression. Um, really didn't give a damn if I lived, you know. I really think that I have improved about 75% in just the last two months. That's where this program really probably helped me more than anything is it kind of gave me myself back, you know. At the path that I was going prior to, to having done the exercise with you guys, I don't think I would have made it 10, 20 years. So, when you're asking me now, 20, 30 years down the line, I, I'm looking at it as a present. Something that's just a gift that's been given to me. Maybe one more chance to get things right. Prison Smart is a unique rehabilitation program for prisoners that aims to break the cycle of violence and harmful behaviour in society by effectively transforming the minds, attitudes and behaviour of prisoners, preparing them with practical life skills upon their release. The prison program offers stress management and rehabilitation training for inmates as well as staff. The first of its kind, reducing violence and drug dependence in hardcore criminals. Most of them that I see here become more calm, they become more motivated. Som jeg aldrig har oplevet i samtaleterapi. Jeg tror at næsten, som jeg kan huske, at det er næsten 100%, der giver virkelig positiv feedback. 
Og det har jeg aldrig prøvet før. Vi har alle sammen en masse kvaliteter inde i os selv. Vi har alle sammen en masse potentiale, som vi måske ikke har brugt til det rigtige ting. Og det er det, som det her drejer sig om. Det er at fjerne nogle af de ting, som man kan se. Ligesom foran solen. Ikke? Selvom der er store, sorte skyer foran, så er, der, er solen der altid alligevel. Ikke? Og jeg må sige, at det giver mig en anden det giver mig en tilfredsstillelse. Og det giver mig mere ro på tilværelsen. Og det giver mig nogle værktøjer i nogle situationer. Så, så jo, det har hjulpet mig en hel del, helt klart. Jeg er glad for det, og jeg vil meget gerne fortsætte derude også. Det har jeg, fordi at, at, som sagt, at, at jeg har prøvet mange ting i mit liv, der har jeg sgu. Også med, med systemet, at man skal prøve dit og dat, fordi det skal nok skal hjælpe og rent mig, og det har ikke hjulpet en skid, og der er ingen skid, der har hjulpet noget. Men jeg synes, for første gang i mit liv, synes jeg ligesom, at man kan mærke, at, at det her ude, det jeg ved ikke hvorfor, men det er noget fuldstændig andet. Det er det fuldstændig, fuldstændig, og det, og det hjælper, det gør det. Det As far as for my recovery, um, I'm a lot more acceptable and tolerant with people now. You know, as far as I don't get up as upset as I used to, because I'm I've known to have a um, very violent temper, but like I said, the breathing for me it helps me calm down, and, and it's really good. By reverting to using the prana and the kriya, I have been able to relax, being able to cut out my outside uh, sensory perception and just look inside of me and, and feel what's going on with me. And that within itself has given me a, a great deal of serenity and, and confidence. This technique, combined with the stretching exercises, provides the necessary release, harmonizing the mind-body system. The inmates feel renewed emotionally and physically. Han estado participando en el proyecto, han estado abierto a todos los programas, eh, supuestamente será el grupo más difícil de aquí de Curundú. Y ha sido una experiencia fabulosa. Antes era una persona bien reservada, serio, grosero, eh, bastante pegón, liso, pero ya ha cambiado bastante. O sea, ese eh, pasiguame, controlar la ira. Buenísimo, excelente, radicales. Although the boys continue to live in slum conditions, with their enemies on all sides, they have resolved to live a violence-free life and are becoming known in the community as the boys that breathe. Un apoyo que tenemos porque es como si fuéramos un un grupo también. Formamos un grupo, pero no es ni un grupo ni un grupo. Vandalico ni nada de eso, sino un grupo para darle clase a otras personas que lo necesitan, que estaban igual que yo antes. Para mí, eh, o sea, una satisfacción al ver de que de repente estos jóvenes eran violentos y ahora o sea, tienen otra actitud. Y eso es lo que mucha gente se pregunta. Nos relajamos más ayudando a los muchachos, enseñándoles una nueva cosa para que un ejemplo para que ellos no sean igual a nosotros como nosotros éramos antes y nosotros nos portamos hasta peor que ellos y bueno nosotros hemos cambiado y eso es lo que venimos a enseñarles que a todos hay un cambio creo que, que todos nos merecemos un cambio así como nosotros nos dieron la oportunidad de cambiar porque ahora no sé si uno de nosotros hubiera muerto con tantos problemas que tenemos o tuviéramos preso o no sé pues pero creo que si nosotros nos dieron este cambio lo hemos aprovechado Creo que todos lo debemos hacer, debemos dar la mano a otras personas que también merecen el cambio. Y bueno, si hay que echar para adelante y enseñarle, le podemos enseñar lo que nosotros hemos aprendido, a cambiar de persona, a cambiar de mente, a ser una persona buena. While working on their own development, the boys are also helping keep this planet green by assisting in an organic garden. They have planted 700 pounds of vegetables for the orphans. They plan to do the same in the ghetto in order to get regular income instead of taking part in crime. Y ha sido una bendición por contar con la fundación para arrancar el programa. Ha sido la parte inicial y ya nosotros entonces vamos a complementar con otros elementos para que sea todo un proceso integral, ¿no? Y que podamos lograr entonces final el objetivo que es que estos jóvenes puedan insertarse en el mercado laboral normal, que puedan dejar atrás las armas, la violencia y que lleve una vida normal como buenos ciudadanos. Si cambiamos nos dan muchas cosas como ahora, bastantes cambios 
Pan, nosotros pensamos que íbamos a estar aquí trabajando con 200 niños, 100 y pico de niños. Ah, antes agarraba un niño en mi casa y le metieron un cocorrón si no me hacen un mandado. Aquí me hacen maldad, yo nada me río. <risa> uno, uno cambia bastante. Ustedes me han enseñado a mí a tratar. Porque yo no sabía tratar con gente así, que yo no era muy allegado a nadie. Cuando llegaban de alguien de una vez, te, te tienen como que mandarlo expreso. Eso era lo que decían y yo qué. Que todos merecemos una oportunidad, todos merecemos cambiar. Nada más necesitamos el apoyo. Y creo que gracias a como nos han ayudado, espero que nos sigan ayudando y así ayuden a un poco de gente más que la necesita, a bastantes jóvenes. Through a wide variety of educational, cultural, service and development programs, IAHV bridges the divide between groups and communities and brings people together on the basis of shared human values while celebrating their diversity. <laughs> זהו, כאילו, סיפרתי להם שבסופו של דבר אנחנו רק בני אדם ואנחנו פשוט אותו דבר, אנחנו בני אדם, כאילו... מה שיכולנו להרגיש, לא רק אני, אני יכולתי להרגיש שנותר פה משהו משפחה, ממש ממש Mon souhait est que si toutes les, euh, euh, si toute la Côte d'Ivoire et puis si toutes les villes de la Côte d'Ivoire pouvaient reçus cette formation là, vraiment ça fait que au de cette négociation là bas là bas par ci par là euh, en deux jours on va finir ça, ah, non, on va finir avec euh, ce qu'on est pas là. Cette formation même là même peut ramener la paix rapidement. On parlait déjà dans un an. Tu vas pas le trouver un jeune qui est en train de faire par là dans la rue, non. Vu que je croise cela pour les former, pour qu'ils suivent cette formation, vraiment pour qu'ils puissent faire la guerre, la paix en Côte d'Ivoire. So we know each other only for three days. We look at each other differently as brothers and sisters. How the person behaves is not important. It is important how you understand him. It is important to understand the other person to search for the best features of him. Children forget about the difference of nationalities, origins and ages. And you see how the Caucasus is forming one family. Avant le stage aussi, on était un peu essoulé, genre un manque de considération. On allait d'abord, on était un peu réticents l'un envers l'autre parce que c'était pas facile de regrouper, de nous qu'on soit ensemble, des jeunes guerriers, des jeunes djoula. Parce que c'est les deux communautés qui sont en ici. Dit qu'on va être dans le même coin. Ça... Au début, sincèrement, c'était pas facile. Pour nous, c'était pas facile. Bon, on, se... on mettait des barrières entre nous. Bon. Quand on dit de former un groupe, les guerriers se, mat... se mettaient par de l'autre côté, les frères, les doulas de l'autre On a commencé à se pardonner les uns les autres. Et alors aujourd'hui, lorsqu'il pleut et qu'il y a un coup de tonnerre, je n'ai plus peur. Mais après le stage, on a vu que c'était pas... inutile quoi, de se mettre une ethnie par là et l'autre n'est pas. C'était inutile. On a vu que nous, on a vu que nous étions tous des frères et soeurs. On a passé le temps, on a, fait, on a passé le temps dans les palabres pour ne rien inutilement. Les jeunes, ils ont fait un excellent travail avec vous concours. Kokoma est la plus grande quartier de Djokoué. Mais on peut aller déjà dans un an, tu ne vas pas aller trouver un jeune qui est en train de faire palabres dans la rue. Non. La foundation for 25 years has worked on programs that have been at the core of my public life, promoting peace, combating violence and drug addiction, empowering our youth. It has an incredible, actually incredible following that cuts through all religions, cultures and backgrounds. A very, very difficult thing to do in today's world. In order to drive processes of change and transformation towards inclusive and sustainable peace, we need leaders at different levels of society with a distinct and well-developed set of skills, attitudes and values. IAHV's practical and effective training program, Transformational Leadership for Excellence, focuses on skills that effectively advance people and processes of change and on leading societal transformation through personal empowerment and dynamism.
Telex enhances leaders' self-awareness and ability to remain calm and focused in the midst of adaptive challenges. It empowers them to take tangible steps towards realizing their vision for sustainable peace and development, to instill courage, to remain positive and to transform challenges into opportunities. It fosters among training participants a sense of connectedness to each other and their shared mission and inspires them to work together to exceed expectations. IAHV programs uplift individuals and restore and empower communities by removing accumulated physical, mental and emotional stresses, educating people in ways to look at life with a broader perspective, teaching people to take responsibility for their communities and society. The Youth Leadership Training Programme combines stress management and empowerment techniques with leadership, teamwork and communication skills to improve intergroup relationships and develop strong leaders in communities. And when, but I, I lost my smile, I lost my love, you see. But after I met Kelly and the guys from Auto Police, I, that's where I started, my smile is like, started to become like beautiful again. Donc euh, avec eux, on a réussi à mettre une structure bien en place, on est solide, on travaille. Donc euh, sérieusement, il faut que merci beaucoup pour ce stage-là. Parce que ça fait que on a, ça nous permet de... Convinced that women have a crucial role to play in the creation of peaceful societies, IAHV's programs pay special attention to women's well-being and their empowerment at home and in all sectors of society. من قلت إنه فعلًا هو نقطة تحول في حياتي فعلًا كانت نقطة تحول في حياتي على مسارات شخصية كبيرة جدا حتى على مسارات قرارات على مستوى شخصي. إلي تأثير على النساء وإلي تأثير في مجتمعي و... 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 وهذا كله يتطلب إني أنا أكون صحية كجسد صحي كنفسية صح حتى أقدر إنه أتعامل مع خاصة إنه إحنا نتعامل مع for humanitarian, development and peace-building organizations working in or on conflict, IAHV offers training in stress management, self-management and self-nourishment. The training helps local and international staff to work effectively in the challenging environments of war and conflict and to prevent long-term negative consequences while it deepens our understanding and experience of inner peace. So sustainable peace requires complementary activities by multiple actors. So we would like to invite like-minded organizations to partner with us in a holistic approach so that we can actually together increase our impact for peace. So if you would like to partner with us or you're interested to learn more about our programs, please get in touch with us. Cette formation même là même peut ramener la paix rapidement. Au lieu de donner des millions à un monsieur pour aller faire des meetings là, ça ne peut pas finir. Il préfère ne pas prendre ces millions là pour vous donner pour que vous puissiez faire des formations. Des...